Hey, free to play players and low spenders. If you're not using one of these to pull on the banners, you got to use one of these to pull on the banners. And I'm going to tell you how to do that right here. Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Honkai Star Rail video, and today I'm going to talk to you about the banners we're getting at launch for this game, and how you could efficiently spend your Stellar Jade, your regular passes, your premium passes, to get a nice head start with your free-to-play or low spender account. Because the truth is, in gacha games, there are players who will just throw money at this game. That money will help them get the characters that they want, or whatever characters featured right now, and overcome any bottleneck that money can help you overcome come. That's the way gotcha games work, and there's going to be a lot of whales on this game's launch, like Hoyo is planning on making a bunch of money from a free game. Still, as a free-to-play player or as a low spender, you can strategically use your Stellar Jades and your passes to help keep up your account, and so you don't fall too far behind the whales. Let me talk to you about what I would do with my free-to-play account, especially considering I'm probably going to have a free-to-play account running along next to my whale account. Let's get into it. We're going to talk about the banners. First banner, the Departure Warp. This banner is the same whether you're a paid player, free-to-play player, space kraken, it doesn't matter. This is a 20% off banner. Now you're going to use your regular passes on this, and 8 regular passes will get you a 10 pull. After you do 50 pulls on here, you're gu guaranteed a random 5-star character from the standard pool. This is the same for everybody. Just use your regular passes here and enjoy whatever random five-star character you get. There's no special you know, thinking about this. Just throw your tickets at this, enjoy the discount, and move on. Now, next up, we have the standard banner. This is called the standard warp in this game because that's what they call banners. This has that same set of five-star characters that the beginner banner had. Here's the thing you need to know about this. Don't spend Stellar Jades here. I don't think even whales should spend Stellar Jades here. Just use your regular tickets. Every 10 pull on here is guaranteed to get you a 4-star character, and you always have a chance of pulling one of the standard pool 5-star characters. You're going to be given standard passes as you play through the game as rewards, Take them, spin them here, and maybe luck out and catch a Branya, a Himiko Japard, something like that along the way. The, the big thing to understand here, especially as a free-to-play player, is don't spend your Stellar Jades here. I don't even think whales should spend their Stellar Jades here. Yes, I know that after 300 pulls on this banner, you get a select standard pool 5-star character, but it's... Just, it's just a bad idea to try to go for that early. Let this banner come to you naturally through standard pull tickets and just accept what the gotcha gods give you. Okay, now we need to move on and talk about the premium banners, right? The limited time banners. First up, let's take a look at the release dates for these banners. Seelay's limited banner is going to be dropping on launch day, running for about three weeks, and then Jing's banner is going to follow that up for about another three weeks. If you're talking about which banner to pull on, which is the point of this video, I think Seelay's banner is a whale banner and Jing's better banner is the better free-to-play banner. What do I mean and why? Now look, 5-star versus 5-star. If you're just going for the 5-star character, personally, I like Seelay better than Jing. I think she's a better single-target damage dealer. I think that's a little more important when you're talking about um, a character that if you're spending your Stellar Jades and your premium passes on needs to be a star of your account. I like Seelay a little better than Jing. They are both great, though. So why do I think Seelay's banner is a little bit of a whale banner compared to Jing's? Well, the boosted four-star characters on there are not very good. Natasha is great, yeah, sure, but she's a free character. We're going to get her anyway, and you'll probably just naturally catch some dupes of these four-star characters as you're pulling throughout the game. The other boosted four-stars on there are Pela and Hook, and I think they're just mid. So if you're only going for the five-star character, yes, I like Seelie's banner, but I never suggest, and this is a big piece of advice I want to give people who are coming into a gacha game maybe for the first time. I never suggest pulling on a banner unless you're willing to go to pity. In this case, that means going to a 90 pull 50-50, losing the 50-50, and going to the 90 pull pity again. That is the worst case luck you could have. That is 18 10 pulls. Are you really going to have the currency to do 18 10 pulls in the first three weeks of this game as a free-to-play player? 
I don't know for sure, but I feel like maybe not. Now, give yourself another three weeks, and I think you have a real shot at having that level of currency, and that's not the only reason I like Jing's banner. If we look at Jing Yuan's banner, the four-star boosted characters on there are amazing. March 7th is the free-to-play character that's boosted here. She's my favorite of the free-to-play characters, but I'm not even talking about her. I am talking about Su Sheng and Ting Yuan. These are the best four star characters in the game and the fact that you have a really good chance of pitying one of them here is awesome this is something like four star characters are going to be a cornerstone of free to play players account and these two are going to be huge so here's a chance to get one of those in the third week of this game or after the game's been out for third weeks and if you've been saving up your stellar jades saving up those premium summon tickets you can hit this banner hard and maybe you get lucky maybe you hit jing early and you hit yourself a copy of su sheng and ting yuan and you're like hey let's go i still have some currency left we know units like silver wolf are looming on the horizon lucia looming on the horizon these would be great banners to have a little currency left for so if i was a free-to-play player i would try to push through the game without pulling on Sealy's banner at all and just save my Stellar Jades, save my premium passes, and wait for Jing's banner. There are some caveats here. Let's discuss those real quick. First of all, pity carries over in this game. So if you just want to, because it's a game and you want to have fun, you just want to throw some pulls at Sealy's banner in the first couple weeks, and you miss, let's say you throw two pulls at her and miss. When you go to Jing's banner, you'll be two pulls into his pity. The pity carries over. So instead of having to do nine pulls to potentially pity him, you'll only have to do seven. If you missed everything in Sealy's in those first two pulls, at least your pity wasn't wasted. So if you just can't control yourself and you want to throw some uh, throw some Stellar Jades or some premium passes at Sealy, go for it. The pity carries over. You're not going to hate it too much. But I just wouldn't burn myself out on Sealy with the potential of you getting ultimately unlucky, not getting her, and being tapped out in your Stellar Jades and Premium Passes for who knows how long. I've heard that in Genshin, the Premium Currency did not exactly flow, right? It was slow to come. So if you tap yourself out early and don't get much for it, you could be in for a little bit of a rough time. Okay, guys, that's my free-to-play polling guide, which banners I would focus on. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out my pity system guide, I will leave a link to that in the video as well. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.